Some quick reactions here in studio with His Excellency Mudomi Njuki, the Governor of Otaraka Niti and the Chairperson of the Health Committee at the Council of Governors. We're still waiting for Mary Mudoni, who's the Principal Secretary for Public Health and Professional Standards of the Ministry of Health. She says she's a bit held up, but she's coming. As soon as she comes in, we'll rope her into the conversation. But Governor, thank you for making time. Nyeri County is now threatening to stop the pay and summarily dismiss the striking doctors. Is this the solution from the Council of Governors' view? Well, uh... Before I answer your question, allow me to take this opportunity first and foremost uh, to thank the medics of Rakanidi County uh, who arrested the situation where we had an accident yesterday in Nidi and we had uh, more than 30 people involved. 17 were taken to our hospital in Chuka and despite the strike, they have been treated. Most of them have been discharged. Unfortunately, lost four lives, and uh, the critical ones taken to Korea Hospital. It's a unique situation. I expect there will be worse um, consequences because of the strike. But I'm happy, even as the strike is on, the doctors have a heart to save lives uh, when and if they're required. I will not go into details how it happened. I'm sure it would happen in another part of the country. Nyeri is uh, one of the 47 counties of Kenya, which is within... Um, our organization of COG. Yep. Of course, uh, my friend Echi uh, Mutai serves in the Committee of Health. He's also the chair of the, the Labor Committee, uh, the COG. Yep. And I know where he's coming from. I can imagine where he's coming from uh, with what he said he's doing. I don't know why you think it's a threat. Probably it is uh, possible. It's not a threat. Okay. <laughs> Probably but is it right? Is it right to implement it? Um, the reason why I think he's, he's uh, going this route is because um, if you look at the demands that have been made by medics, uh, the 19 of them for the medical doctors, or rather for KMPDU, and um, think about uh, 10 for the clinical, uh, clinical officers, yeah. uh, only about three, can you, say, can you be able to say, are of... Um, Unifying, not really unifying, but uh, it, they cut across Cross -cutting, yeah. all, it's, all the 47 counties. The other issues are issues that can be dealt by individual counties at the individual level. And counties are different levels. Yeah. For example, you talk about promotions. There are counties that have really done promotions mm -hmm. since 2017. As a matter of fact, since uh, for the last three years, the, our records show that 1,705 doctors have been promoted in various counties. I do not have uh, records county by county, and even if I had them, I wouldn't uh, put them up county by county. But imagine if your county, you have already done the promotions. Yeah. You've already given enhanced medical cover. And then your doctors go on strike yeah. because they're in solidarity with the others. Yet you've done all those things. Would you be in a position to say, I will fire you? And that is why we keep on saying, as much as we have a doctor's union that is uh, representing all doctors in the whole country. Yeah. The issue of employment is a personal contract with the employer who is a particular county that has employed you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is why you find there's counties who have decided to give uh, contracts, the others who are giving permanent and pensionable, because all those are terms in employment that are acceptable by SRC. Yeah. And therefore, as much as we have that union for the whole country, country yeah. Some of these issues are much better dealt by the local branch of uh, the union yeah. because there are specific issues that affect that particular county yeah. that can be able to be discussed and, and really devalidated on without having to say, I will go this route because another county has been affected and so on and so forth. But how will sucking them stop the strike? Uh, you know, Mutai, Governor Mutai is not looking at what is happening in other parts of the county, country. And he's not speaking on the Council of Governors. He wants to re ensure that he has a working force in Nyeri County. And therefore, if by sucking, uh, sucking some doctors who have gone on strike, yet he has been able to fulfill the mandates that are uh, bestowed upon him yeah. by the constitution of the county and replace, and the people of Nyeri get uh, service, that's a most, that, that is what is of critical importance. Okay. These are the ones that are cut across the whole, the whole country. Yeah. Well, uh, 
as much as it may not serve the purpose of stopping the strike, it will give the people in Yeri what they need, and that is the presence of a doctor in the facility. So you think the threats will get them to go back? It is not threats. I don't know why you're calling them threats. What are they? They become a threat when they are not implemented. You think they're going to be So you just give uh, Echi Mutai of Nyeri yeah. an opportunity to see whether they're real threats yeah. or it, it means what he's saying. But they got from the council And I, and I will not talk on his behalf, but I, I was just telling you. Yes. From where I, where I sit, yeah. different counties are different levels, and therefore they can take different actions. If you look at uh, how we are moving at the moment, yeah. there's a likelihood that apart from the issues that are cutting across, different counties will take different actions depending on where they are at. Why isn't that action to honor the CBA, the 2017 CBA? Well, because the CBA is another monster that uh, cuts across, not just across the counties, but across inter-ministries. If you look at the issues that are stipulated in the CBA, some of them may have nothing, absolutely zero, to do with the individual counties. Others may have something to do with the Minister of Health. Others may have something to do with Public Service Commission. Others may have something to do with the SRC. And therefore, you, you cannot pin down one particular county on the issue of CBA and say you are not implementing the C CBA. By no. the way, on the issue of the CBA, there are only two issues that uh, touch on the county government. I wish the Minister of Health was here because I may She's not be able to speak yes. uh, for them. But there are only about two issues that uh, really are pending for our CBA. Okay. And I will tell you, about three have been uh, dealt with. All right. One of them is uh, the issue of the promotions. Okay. And I've just given you a record how many have been promoted. Yes. If you look at the issues that they talked about of um, releasing doctors in the CBA yeah. to go for postgraduate training, counties are religiously releasing doctors postgraduate. As we talk right now, yeah. over 800 doctors are currently on uh, study leave. Okay. And they are enjoying full salary from the counties. All right. Using taxpayers' money. All right. In particular, the Rakanidi, yeah. after my 54 doctors, 14 are on a study leave. And county government of the Rakanidi, using taxpayers' money, is taking care of their salaries. That okay. is part of CBA. All right. Governor, stay with me. We'll come back to this conversation as we still wait for Mary Mudoni, the PS for Public Health and Professional Standards Minister of Health. She says she's on her way here. But for now, let's talk about some.